Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, let's have another look at Izanagi Zero uh, with some uh, newer characters. And I'm pretty excited about this video because there are a few characters in here that I uh, just pulled from the uh, Thank You Hatcher. And then I'm beginning to think that this uh, Thank You Hatcher is kind of playing the game on uh, God Mode, uh, where I can get characters that I really uh, never thought I was going to get otherwise. Uh, but the uh, gimmicks here for this mission are warps and then these uh, magic circles, uh, which will turn us into a chick. Uh, the first character that I'm using is uh, Dead Rabbit's Ascension, and uh, they are a pierce with a no warp. And then uh, they have a couple slayers, but I don't think they come in uh, handy on this mission. Uh, they have a very good uh, bump combo, the uh, blast bump combo and then the uh, lock-on shotgun. Uh, this is not the uh, shotgun that shoots in all directions, uh, 360. Uh, this is more directional, so uh, we'll get more concentrated damage out of this shotgun. So it's pretty strong. And then uh, they have a uh, strike shot, which is similar to uh, Takiyasha, uh, where they do uh, explosion on uh, first contact. Uh, next up I'm using uh, Aegis uh, Ascension, and then uh, he is a bounce with uh, No Warp. And then uh, he has a Light Slayer, and that is a uh, passive in him. Uh, so that Light Slayer will also go into his Bump Combo, which is the uh, Energy Circle, and a uh, Homing Shot. Um, so yeah, pretty strong. And then uh, he's got a um, Strike Shot where he gets a uh, Speed and Power Up, uh, which is kind of iffy with uh, Bounce characters, since they seem uh, pretty prone to irregular bounds. Uh, but when it does work, it's uh, very powerful. Okay, next I'm using uh, Kiss Kill Leela from the uh, anime uh, summertime movie, I think it was. And uh, she's pretty great for this mission, maybe the best. Uh, she's a bounce with uh, No Warp, and then also a uh, No Magic Circle, which is pretty rare. And uh, yeah, although I'm moving very carefully with uh, my other three characters in order to make sure that they don't end up as a chick, uh, she doesn't have to worry about it at all, so she can move. Uh, much more recklessly <laughs> than my other characters. Oh, and uh, one other gimmick that I forgot about this mission is that there are no hearts, um, so all the healing will be done through healing walls. And then uh, Kiss Kill Leela, she has a uh, bump combo, uh, the first of its kind. It's a plasma that is the blast type, so that can be pretty good damage uh, if you are good at using plasma. And then uh, she has a strike shot where it's like a speed and power up. And then uh, every time she hits one of her teammates, uh, you will heal a little bit. And then uh, this is not once per teammate. Uh, you can hit the same teammate multiple times and then still get multiple amounts of healing. Um, so that's better than the, uh, the standard uh, healing. And then uh, she also has a, a special ability which... Um, has a chance to fully heal you during a boss sequence. I think we'll see that later, so I'll explain that when we get there. And then uh, finally, the uh, last character I'm using, uh, I also used him in the uh, previous video, is Aladdin. Uh, he is a bounce with uh, no warp. And then uh, he has an eight turn strike shot. And then uh, whenever you use a strike shot, uh, you gain uh, immunity to the uh, magic circles. So he almost has Null Magic Circle. It's like that every other turn. And then uh, he has a uh, Strike Shot where he enters a counterattack mode. And then that can be really useful because um, there are these wizards that appear and sometimes they will go into counterattack mode. Uh, if you hit them when they're in that mode, uh, they will shoot out healing walls. And so we want to hit these wizards as often as possible uh, to get out as many healing walls as possible. And so uh, being able to do that on an enemy's turn with Aladdin's counterattack is uh, very, very useful. Um, so I'm going to use that strike shot now in order to uh, get some damage in on the boss. And then also for him to set up his uh, counterattack mode. And then uh, it's important to know that the, uh, the demons, and then also the uh, wizard looking guys, uh, they have uh, one hit KO attacks. Um, so their highest uh, count attack 
uh, we want to take them down or clear the stage before they reach that. Okay, no Slayer for Aegis here. Uh, he only has the uh, Light Slayer, so regular damage against Izanami Zero. Okay, so yeah, as we can see, uh, damage output's pretty high from uh, the enemies. Uh, so we do want to uh, get into the healing wall as much as possible. Okay, nice plasma there. <laughs> and that came from uh, Dead Rabbit's uh, Blast Bump combo. And actually, a uh, Kiss Kill Leela and then uh, Dead Rabbits are a really good a combo. Um, because uh, Dead Rabbits, they are Pierce uh, with the same Null ability, Null Warp. Um, so we can go straight for a Kiss Kill and then drag that uh, Plasma all over the place. And then also when it's a uh, Kiss Kill Leela's turn, uh, we can hit uh, Dead Rabbits to set off the uh, Plasma there as well. Yeah, basically any character that is Pierce with a Blast Bump combo is automatically good. <laughs> um, just because they are so... they are the best for setting off uh, bump combos. Okay, so here is maybe the most difficult um, mini-boss stage. This is a Kushinada Zero. Uh, the uh, Gaias will shoot out mines if we don't take them out uh, quickly enough. And then, uh, yes, none of my guys have uh, Minesweeper or Flight, so I have to be careful. And then uh, the boss also has a pretty strong uh, cross laser that we definitely want to stay out of range of. And uh, no wizards on the stage either, so there's no healing. Right, let's use uh, Aladdin's uh, Strike Shot again, uh, partly to avoid the magic circles, partly to continue his um, counterattack mode, uh, partly to get that uh, speed and power up. Okay, so I feel like this is taking too long, so let's use uh, Dead Rabbit's Strike Shot. And I love their voice acting. I was so happy that they kept the uh, Japanese voice acting. <laughs> All right, so good damage. We are able to clear the stage. And then uh, here, just like the regular Izanami, we, uh, Izanagi, we have this uh, turtle here right before the uh, boss sequence. And I'm going to try to hit both uh, magic panels and fail. <laughs> That's pretty annoying. Uh, better than uh, eating the attack, though, that that turtle shoots out. So, Okay, so first uh, boss sequence. Uh, of course, we want to get rid of the uh, demon first. And then uh, hit the uh, wizards every turn if we can. Alright, positioning here is not great with Aladdin, so we'll just uh, take down this one wizard. And then uh, that will shoot out a bunch of uh, healing walls, uh, which we definitely want to hit because, again, uh, damage output is very high for uh, this mission. And then here I'm trying to think about how I can get out the most damage and get the most healing while also returning back to my original form. And I think I found the way there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now I want to uh, hit the uh, healing wall a lot uh, while also doing damage to the boss. Uh, but again, I have to keep an eye on the wizard uh, to make sure that his uh, five count doesn't reach uh, zero. Alrighty, my HP is looking low and I don't have any healing walls out. Um, so I'm going to use uh, Kiss Kill Leela's uh, Strike Shot. And that's a, a speed and power up. And then every time she hits a, an ally, uh, we'll get a little bit of healing. So yeah, lots of healing from the healing wall. And then we hit Aegis multiple times. And then we got the healing uh, each time, uh, each time we hit him. So, uh, yeah, pretty good healing from there. All right, here I'm confident that I can hit uh, just two of the magic panels. So we'll do that and return back to the original form. 
And then this should take down the boss. Okay, great. Okay, and then uh, last stage. Alright, so there, that is Kiss Kill Leela's uh, special power. Uh, this activates only during uh, boss sequences, and uh, that refilled my health up to max, so that gave me a good start uh, to the stage. Alright, but same thing as before, take down the demons, and then uh, do as much damage to the boss as quickly as possible uh, while hitting the healing walls as well. Okay, so there go the demons. Here come the healing walls. Alright, so I could have done like an up and down attack just to hit the boss and then get the healing in. Uh, but I wanted to get the uh, healing walls out another turn. Uh, so we'll use Aladdin's uh, strike shot and do sort of a crazy angle in order to get those uh, healing walls out. And then uh, with uh, Dead Rabbits, we will uh, get some focus damage on the weak point and then uh, get a little bit of healing in as well. Okay, there's Aladdin's uh, counterattack coming in handy. And then uh, with Aegis, uh, let's use his uh, speed and power up. Um, we'll hit the wizards, get out more healing walls, pick up that plasma. Okay, pretty good. I think that uh, puts us in pretty good position for the uh, next turn. And that'll do it. All right. So that was uh, Izanagi Zero with some uh, characters that I pulled uh, just yesterday, I guess. And uh, very happy about that. And um, yeah, again, very grateful for the uh, thank you, Hatcher, uh, letting me use some monsters that uh, I'm not sure I would have had otherwise. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.